वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मोहम्मद नवीद एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी शेल लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड आर्क लेंथ एंड पोलर कोऑर्डिनेट्स सो फार वी हैव बीन फेमिलियर विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ आर्क लेंथ एंड रेक्टेंगुलर कोऑर्डिनेट्स नाउ वी डिस्कस आर्क लेंथ एंड पोलर कोआर्डिनेट्स इफ वी हैव अ पोलर कर्व आर इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ थीटा for which theta varies from alpha to beta in order to find the arc length of the curve from theta equal to alpha to theta equal to beta we use a relation l equal to integration from alpha to beta which is a variation of theta along this curve R square plus d r upon d theta whole square under the root d theta. This is the formula for finding arc length in polar coordinates. Now we solve a question in order to understand this concept. find arc length of entire circle r equal to 2a cos of theta first we try to sketch this curve our given curve is r is equal to 2a cos of theta this is a polar curve which represents a circle horizontal circle passing through origin and having a radius a first we try to sketch this circle a circle passing through origin having center at point a comma 0 and a radius of this circle is a now we have to find arc length of this circle which is a circumference of the circle now first we need to find variation of theta as we know that this curve passes from origin so for origin when a curve passes through origin uh, at origin we know that r is equal to 0 so in order to find the variation of theta first we put r equal to 0 uh, when r equal to 0 we have 2a cos of theta equal to 0 which implies cos of theta is equal to 0 and theta is equal to cos inverse of 0 theta equal to cos inverse of 0 and cos 0 is at pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 so this is our theta equal to pi by 2 and theta equal to 3 pi by 2 which can also be written as theta equal to a minus pi by 2 so theta varies from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 now as this curve is symmetric about x axis or symmetric about polar axis here theta is equal to 0 so we can use a symmetry to find arc length for this we first find the portion of this curve which is above x axis and then double it to find the arc length of whole curve so 
आर्क लेंथ इज इक्वल टू फर्स्ट वी राइट फार्मूला आर्क लेंथ एल इज इक्वल टू एल्फा टू बीटा आर स्क्वायर प्लस डी आर अपॉन डी थीटा होल स्क्वायर अंडर द रूट दिस इज अवर इक्वेशन नंबर वन सो फर्स्ट वी फाइंड डी आर अपॉन डी थीटा एज आर इज इक्वल टू टू ए कॉज ऑफ थीटा डी आर अपॉन डी थीटा इज इक्वल टू डेरीवेटिव ऑफ टू ए कॉज ऑफ थीटा विच इज इक्वल टू टू ए एंड डेरीवेटिव ऑफ कॉज ऑफ थीटा इज माइनस साइन थीटा सो डी आर अपॉन डी थीटा इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू ए साइन ऑफ थीटा नाउ वी यूज दिस रिलेशन टू फाइंड आर्क लेंथ एज दिस कर्व इज सिमेट्रिक अबाउट एक्स एक्सेज so our arc length is equal to two time variation of theta from theta equal to 0 to pi by 2 r square dr upon d theta whole square so now arc length is equal to arc length is equal to l which is equal to two time definite integral from uh, 0 to pi by 2 0 to pi by 2 r square dr upon d theta whole square r square is 2a cos of theta whole square dr upon d theta is minus 2a sin of theta whole square under the root d theta this is equal to two time integration from 0 to pi by 2 2a cos theta is 4a square cos square theta plus 4 a square sin square theta under the root and d theta which is equal to 2 time integration from 0 to pi by 2 4 a square and to cos square theta plus sin square theta under the root d theta this is equal to 2 time integration from 0 to pi by 2 4 a square under the root and cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 4a square into 1 d theta this is equal to 2 time integration from 0 to pi by 2 4a square square root is equal to 2a and d theta now this can be written as 4a integration 0 to pi by 2 d theta and this can be written as 4a integration d theta is theta and theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 this can be written as 4a and upper limit is 
pi by 2 and a lower limit is uh, 0 which equal to 4a pi by 2 and this can be written as 2a pi. So our arc length is equal to 2a pi. Now this is a circle of a radius r. Now we know that the circumference of circle is 2 pi r. Here r is equal to a. So when we put r equal to a, so we get circumference equal to 2 pi a r 2 a pi which becomes our arc length. I hope you like this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.